Would you dry your dishes with something this beautiful? Actually, this is a dish towel from about the 1940s, and Michelle Fox deals in all kinds of textiles at her Palisades New York shop. Thanks for coming today. Oh, thank you. And you brought great stuff with you. It always makes me smile when I walk into your booth and look at all the vintage goodies. All of these dish cloths in front of us are these beautiful printed florals. Really almost pristine out of people's attics, out of yes. people's trunks. This is pretty enough for a sheet pattern. Yes. These I have never seen. No, I haven't seen them either no, because these are they're gray. like a damask. They're more oh, formal yes. than the towels are usually printed. And these look like they've never, never been, been washed. Used. No, they never they have little used. things that you have to cut off. Yes, yeah, they have the damask finish on them still. And they could be used in the bathroom as well as in the kitchen if you wanted to now adapt them and use them as a guest towel. Oh, very nice, work. don't you think? And yeah. even just fold it up like this. Then over here we have a selection oh. of stripes they, and, and plaids. plaids. I love these glass towels because they are the finest linen. Yes. And they are absorbent. It has the original tag on it that says Grover Department Stores, I presume. Would have probably had the price down here, oh, which yeah. would have been about 21 cents really? originally. Really? Yes. Oh. Made in Ireland and beautifully woven. Oh, it's charming. We have another one down here with the tag that's interesting that has the original label. 50% Irish linen, 50% American cotton. The stripe is cotton in the background. It's Ooh. linen. And they feel very nice. They are. And, and they come in sets, which is interesting. You can still find them. Now, how old are these? Uh, those are probably 40s. People would get sets and just put them in the drawer and kind of forget about and them. And not use and, them. Or, and say, oh, well, I'll use them someday. And then always use the old dish rags. Yes, absolutely. Towels were woven in great in big, long, long, long strips. strips. Okay. And these are pretty wonderful because the vintage tablecloths don't come in very long sizes. So I sell these a lot to people who use these as long runners on long tables and then they I make like napkins. A lot. If you have a wide long table, you could put one strip down one side for one group of people and down the other side, leaving for, the yes. center of the table bare. We sometimes do yeah, that. Yeah, you could do and, a reverse. And Absolutely. these are beautiful because they iron beautifully. They wash and launder just perfectly. Yes. So plaids and stripes. stripes and then, and then, then over, over, these are fine. Yes. These are the vacation towels or the souvenir towels. This is a main. <laughs> One of my favorite places. <laughs> yes. And let's see, am I on here? Acadia National Park, that's where we are, Bar Harbor. And these, they often had things that were pertinent to the area, such as in Maine, you can go sailing, you can go hunting, you can go fishing. You can go to see moose. Moose. And so those are very interesting and very collectible. People love oh, these. Oh, California. This is California. Does um, any state not have a towel? Some of them are extremely rare. The places that were vacation destinations, like California, New Jersey, Florida are more typical. Oh, it was right there, north of Santa Barbara. Very beautiful. And then, oh, Atlantic City. And this Look. is Atlantic City. And this New is Jersey. New Jersey, which is a destination town. They also had them where they weren't just states, but they were particular tourist areas, uh, like this one, oh, which Cape is Cape Cod, Cod oh. with all the Colorful. fishing and the lobsters. I have taken to framing everything that I can find in fabric or in paper about Maine. Right. A lot of fun. Right. They're great. They work very well for that. Now, what are these? These are crying towels, they were called. Very humorous. This one is about sports. Losing the horse Losing bet. at the, the track. Catch, yes. Not catching <laughs> the fish. Not playing a good game of golf. All the things that can go wrong. Yep. And this is a lady complaining to her husband <laughs> that she never has nothing to wear. Anywhere. <laughs> nothing around here ever gets fixed. Sounds like, oh, wow, uh -huh. I can think of a lot of I'm people. your slave. <laughs> this was before Women's Liberation. <laughs> and, this is, and this is a driver's complaint. I didn't deserve this to get stuck behind the oh, train. it was green when I started. Yes. Oh, these are very fun. I've never seen these, yeah, actually. No, these are a whole other area that you can just specialize in and collect. And then these, and these this is recipes. recipes. Mm -hmm. Every kind of fabulous drink. drink. This is also drinks with pink elephants all mm. around. And sayings, like an apple a day keeps the doctor, doctor away. away. And oh. this is a recipe for lobster but salad. look how colorful and cute yeah, that is. Yeah. And, and oh. these are wonderful. These are calorie towels with the calories for each thing that you eat. And when was this done? In the 40s and 50s. Oh, well, at least <laughs> these seem to be more accurate than some other calorie counters yes. that I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. Then embroidered. And My grandmother had lots of these, and she would get them in the market 
in Buffalo. Yes, and these often came in kits where you could buy the kit and stitch them. They are very, very sweet. Now these are very graphic. I was looking at these before. These are almost like works of art. Yes, they like paintings, and these are more the 50s leading into the now, 60s. Now, Vera was one of the artists that did things like yes, this. Yes, this is a Vera oh, towel is. right oh. here, and she has her name on it. Oh, and yeah. So the artists were happy to lend their name to this lovely dish <laughs> towel. <laughs> and oh, those polka dots. And these, I just thought this was the most extraordinary towel because of the sophistication of the design. Oh, I look mean, at that. It has the original tag. By Martex. And you could design a whole kitchen around this. Uh, and I can see that in a dark wood kitchen with harvest gold appliances. Yes, can absolutely. What's interesting about this towel is this is probably from the 50s. It's a Siamese cat, which <laughs> was popular in that time. And it's designed Licking to be its hung. chops. Yes. yes. And it's designed to work like this so that the sides are reversible. Oh, One nice. side goes up and the other side goes down. So Michelle, all these wonderful, wonderful dishcloths, how much do they cost nowadays? Well, there's a broad range of price. You might be able to find them at a garage sale for 50 cents, all the way up to about $25 for a pristine towel at an antique show. Well, thank you very much, Michelle, oh, for you. coming today. And please come again with some of your other treasures to share with our viewers. I would love it. Yeah, it's wonderful. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank you.